it's the end of December 2013 and it's tradition to go back and reflect on your year, what's been good, what could have been better. And I thought I'd share with you today my three biggest disappointments in this year. It's Sue and you are watching Ribbon Print Tales and I had said that I was going to share with you my three biggest disappointments from 2013. The first thing I'd say is trade shows. We went into 2013 with an extremely aggressive schedule. Our plan was to do 12 shows this year and we ended up settling in at 10. It just got to be too much. I was wearing myself down. It was just crazy. The first show of the year honestly was a terrible way to start off the year. I'm not going to tell you what show it was. Very little traffic in our whole area, not just where the ribbon print company was, the whole area. So it could have been just the year, but the worst thing was that I went to that show instead of going to a show that I'm normally at. And I had people calling me saying, what's your booth number? I want to come see you. What's your booth number? And I'm like, well, I can tell you, but I'm at a different show. <laughs> My disappointment is in not listening to myself. You know, I got a lot of recommendations. So you should be at this show and you should be at this show. And I guess you have to try them out to really see. But next year I'm going to be a little bit better at judging whether it's the appropriate audience and the appropriate place to be based on our business plans, not because someone just suggests that we should be at that show. My second disappointment is not having identified a new ribbon supplier yet. Our ribbon is fabulous because it takes a print so well, better than anything else out there, but it's expensive. So I've been trying to find a new supplier this whole year, have literally spent thousands of dollars in terms of getting samples in, getting one that I thought was right on, only to find out that the quality is something that I really don't want to offer you guys. And I think now I have finally hit on the right supplier. I'm actually expecting product in within the next couple of days, so even before the end of this year. But I'm disappointed that I haven't been able to have it sooner for everybody. But stay tuned, because that's going to be a rollover into 2014. And the third thing that I'm disappointed in is I have several programs and several products that I have had in the back of my mind for so long and really wanted those to all go live this year. What are they? I can't tell you. You have to wait for 2014, but I know it's going to make you very happy. So there you have it, my three biggest disappointments for 2013. And I have to say, although disappointment sounds like a negative word, I use it in a positive sense because it can help guide me in terms of what I want to make sure to have done for 2014. Our first trade show is one that I should have been at last year, um, the Craft and Hobby Show in Anaheim in January. I think it starts the 10th, so anybody out in California, Southern California, make sure to come by and see us. And I look forward to a really exciting 2014. Have a very, very happy New Year celebration, everybody, and I will see you next year. Bye-bye.